Hello, so in this um, lesson we are going to make our posts work. Alright, so to do that uh, we are going to start with um, making every method below here to be private. Uh, we are creating our strong parameters and we are basically going to say parameters dot uh, not permit dot require post and we want to permit uh, some of the fields from the view so ID is safe um, what else title content publish so it's a title uh, content and publish okay these are all safe to come from the view and we also have our uh, tag IDs which is slightly different so we are going to say tag IDs we are expecting an array an array of um, elements to come so we do it this way so a blank array okay so so in um, create method I'm going to say by bug uh, we've done this a few times now it's just a, a good way to see what's coming from the view so I'm going to just enter some dummy data here uh, select and select a couple of publish tags and then click on create all right let's have a look here type in um, type in params it gives us a list of things and then we'll type in just uh, post params what we are whitelisting and this is what we get all right so we have tags we have um, one and two coming in uh, but we have this issue here it's usually blank I don't know why it's always blank but um it doesn't affect us so that's fine all right so that's how um, that's the data that's coming in and the next thing we want to do is we'll leave um, by bug as it is here and I'm going to say over here post equals uh, post dot new so we're just assigning a new post with our post params so this is not saved into the database um, it's just an object and I want to uh, add moderator so a moderator has to own this post so I say moderator dot moderator underscore ID equals um, remember inheritance um, application controller um, open that up we have this method in there called um, current moderator which returns the currently logged in moderator so we could say current moderator method dot ID so get the ID of the currently logged in moderator and that's it so let's uh, leave by bug in there and click on create and we can inspect uh, posts so if you type in posts uh, no, post dot inspect and enter so we can see that we have moderator here with ID 1 um, has been included all right so everything is new because it's not saved into the database yet all right so go back missing template is accepted as I'm um, expected uh, let's get rid of our buy bug and here we can say if our post is saved successfully all right then we wanted to do a few things right we wanted to redirect to our posts index method all right the URL and we wanted to give um, a notice to the screen saying post was successfully created all right else um, if this did not save successfully we wanted to uh, first render flash uh, flash alert equals and we can say something like um, there was a problem all right creating post and then we could render uh, re-render new so just say render new okay all right end and let's see how this works so everything here is fine it's successfully created if not error message comes up so this is fine just a test one uh, publish there and then click on create so this should create a new method um, have we got by bug still on just double check no by bugs here nope oh yes it's, it's worked so post was successfully created was here it's fine this is the record and active all right so this is a successful creation so let's go in and give another 
another try. Test two, uh, content two, leave published um, alone, so it's um, pending. Uh, let's select three and click on save. And that's it there, and we have pending. So it works. And show gives us all the details less than a minute ago, and everything works. All right, so if we search for content, it gives us just the two records that have content in it. Um, that, so everything works. So we have made um, a create method that saves into the database. Um, so you are going to make a mental note of this in the future if you're working on a project that requires a create method, you always come and reuse what you've done before or remind yourself on how you did it. All right, so over here, we can now successfully uh, shade the first bullet point. So this is done. In uh, the next lesson, we are going to look into validation uh, look into not saving things that are blank and making sure that our database is clean. Alright, so this is it for this lesson. I will see you in the next lesson.